All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. PJ Tucker has been traded, and we got more than a bag of stale chips. I cannot believe it. More than a bag of stale chips, more than two bags of stale chips. This is beautiful. This is absolutely beautiful. Let me let me break down the trade for you guys. So Houston, we traded PJ Tucker, Rodonis Karuks, and the Bucks pick that we had for 2022, the first round pick. We're giving them back to the Bucks. The Bucks in return are giving us DJ Augustine, who will 100% before anybody can dispute this. 100% will either be bought out or traded. He is on an expiring deal. He will 100. He, there is no way. They just needed to fill the salary. PJ Tucker, they needed 12 mil to fill that salary. DJ Augustine, 7.5 mil on his contract. DJ Wilson, the other guy, we got back 4.5 million on his contract. So DJ is 100% there for a salary filler. He is not going to be with the Rockets long term. No one said this, but I'm just telling you guys this is how it will be. I assume they will try to trade him, but considering it's a week away and it's DJ Augustine on an expiring contract, I would guess he will be bought out. DJ Wilson, he's 6'10". He just turned 25, or did he just turn 26? I think he just turned 26. He's 6'10". He has not played much I don't know how much of a factor he will be on this lineup. I would have to imagine they'll probably use him similarly to how they used Karuks. Karuks and Exum, when we got that from the trade from Harden, both of those guys, like they've been injured. Exum's been injured. That's why he hasn't really been playing. I would imagine if, if he wasn't injured, he wouldn't be playing. DJ's a little different because he's very young and maybe want to see what he can do. What I'm very excited about is that we got their 2023 unprotected first round pick. So my guess is that the Bucks don't do anything ever. I, I really like that they went and got P.J. Tucker. I think it helps them a lot. This is a move they needed to make a billion times, yes. But considering the fact that Giannis is still on the team and Giannis still doesn't have a consistent three-point shot, they're so easy to beat in the playoffs. If you're a if you're a similar team or if you're even if you're a little worse, it, make Giannis shoot. Just triple team Giannis, double team Giannis at all times and make him shoot the basketball. Make the other players beat you. Not worry about the Bucks. So that's why I really like that it's an unprotected first round pick because you never. You never know what might happen. You never know. This could end up being something that changes everything. Or it might just be something that adds on to the icing, the icing on the cake. We don't know. We'll know in two years. We also got rights to swap our second round pick for this year for their first round pick unless it falls one to nine. Well... Considering they got Giannis, they're the Milwaukee Bucks. They're a very, very good basketball team. They're 25 and 14. They'll probably lose tonight to the Sixers. They'll be 25 and 15. It's 100% safe to say that they will not be a 1 to 9 lottery team. So we will have their first round pick after this season, and it is beautiful. We have all of these draft picks. I'm telling you, man, it is beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. I love this trade. Swaggy's calling me. <laughs> I love this trade for both sides. It's a trade that both teams desperately needed to make. I'm so glad we got value out of PJ Tucker. I cannot believe that we ended up getting a first round. I know we got two first round picks, but we gave them back a pick. So I, I do want to. I guess we did get two. Yeah, I'll say we, we got two first round picks. It's just extremely impressive. Like, I've been talking about getting a stale bag of chips for like two weeks now. That's how badly I wanted P.J. Tucker to get traded. There were rumors that it was him for, they offered him for Tyler Hero. And we all know how much of a joke that is. Like, her, we got offered a late first for P.J. or for, from the, for P.J. from the Timberwolves. Wondering why the hell did they offer that? Why the hell did we not accept that? And you look at this and you look at it and you think Stone is a genius because I'm promising you, this needed to be made. We got rid of Karuks and we got rid of PJ Tucker, who was taking up about 34, 32 minutes a night. And that was absolutely beautiful. This is this is unbelievable. And we got fucking picks for it. Oh my god, sign me up. 
DJ Arsty, I just want to say it one more time. He will 100% be bought out or traded. I am going with bought out. He will not be a part of this team. And then with DJ Wilson, it'll be interesting. It'll be really interesting because we've got Patton. We've got Wood, who's coming back. We've got KJ Martin, who's been doing very well in his minutes. They even called up Anthony Lamb. I would have to imagine this means the end of Anthony Lamb's time here or his 10-day contract. I would imagine it. That's probably going to be a work in progress. He, he, did not, he did not impress anybody, and it sucks. But we'll talk about that a different day. So, DJ, I'm thinking 10, 20 minutes a night. It could go anywhere in those. It could, he could even get zero minutes a night. I don't know what they're going to do with DJ. Wilson, but it's very evident. I mean, DJ Augustine, there's no reason to be on this team. It's very similar to Dante Exum, but DJ Augustine had a very good NBA career, and there are definitely contending teams that will want and can use DJ Augustine to help them out. Very unlike Dante Exum. I'm sorry if you're a big Dante Exum guy, but like, let's be real. <laughs> so let me know if you guys like this trade, if you who you think won, and uh, I would imagine Victor Oladipo is next. So let's get ready. The fact that this happened like 30 minutes before a game is just beautiful. That stone is not given up. And uh, this should be a very, very interesting next week.